Hello and welcome to our new series, Games for Kindergarten Students. The Tower is the game which can be used for question-answer relays, maybe some uh, reviews or as a holiday game activity. So for this game you would have to prepare blocks. Now this could be any, any kind of blocks, uh, square blocks, uh, rectangular blocks, uh, any kind of type of blocks that you can find soft, hard, doesn't matter. Uh, now your your students probably will have to see it. it's either in the semicircle or on both sides of the classroom so you need some space in the middle you would be uh probably sitting somewhere in between right not too close to the middle so you can let all the students see what's happening and you can put a pile of blocks right here uh, just like that either closer to you or a little bit farther away from you all right every time when a student raises the hand and answer the question then he's allowed to come forward and place one block you can uh, if if the kids are too young or something they're having troubles understanding the, the game rule you can even uh, take a piece of colorful tape and actually tape like an X somewhere in the middle of a classroom and let them to place a block on it on top of it all right so the next student obviously uh, takes a block let me just show you here uh, takes another block, answers the question, whatever it is, right? Puts another block on top, and then so on. It's just going on, right? Until, until obviously the tower collapses. So when the tower goes down, uh, the team which is responsible for, for it loses. And the team which uh, obviously uh, didn't knock it down will, will be the winner. You can uh, play... Uh, uh, I have played this game in a little bit different manner. I can actually let the students uh, build their own tower. So each team would have their own tower built, right? And uh, the the tower which be the tallest. So if one of the towers collab uh, collapses, so the team loses. So obviously, uh, automatically, uh, the next tower, uh, the other tower, I'm sorry, uh, would be taller right so uh they will they will win but you have to watch in this kind of situation you have to watch uh the students like answering equal amount of questions right so uh they will just take turns like what i would do i would assign them to a certain number like this is number one student number one student number two student number three student number four right and so just go one by one like they can start uh, you can pick randomly like this team starts first for example and they just go one by one so this is the game idea you can try to apply it in any other way um or just use my my way of doing that thank you very, very much for watching and see you next time goodbye